I am quoting Ken Harbaugh in a recent statement. I expressed my willingness to consider a pardon for Trump if he were to be found guilty. In leadership, it's crucial to prioritize the best interests of the nation. And he had Mo to say, what truly serves the nation's best interests is not having an 80-year-old individual incarcerated, which would further divide our country. A more beneficial approach would be to grant a pardon, allowing us to move forward as a unified nation without constant discussions centered around him. This is Ken Harbour speaking on Against All Enemies, a part of the Midas Touch Network. It often feels like the entire Republican presidential primary is primarily an audition for the role of vice president. With the exception of Chris Christie, it appears that the remaining candidates are doing everything in their power to avoid alienating Donald Trump to the extent that he would not consider them for the VP position. The central figure in this race has always been Trump. Even Nikki Haley, who has recently emerged as a more acceptable alternative to Trump for the Republican donor class, cannot bring herself to disassociate from the former president. She, like every other Republican candidate except Chris Christie, recognizes that the party's base still strongly supports Trump. Consequently, they find themselves in a perplexing situation, trailing significantly in the polls but unable to criticize Trump in a way that would alienate his loyal supporters. This predicament leads to moral compromises, such as Nikki Haley's statement about pardoning the former president. The turning point for Haley was her response to a voter's question in New Hampshire about the cause of the Civil War. Her answer, which omitted any mention of slavery, drew widespread criticism. Instead of acknowledging her mistake, Haley doubled down on her response, even suggesting that the question came from a Democratic plant. As a former congressional candidate, I understand the temptation to attribute difficult questions to hostile operatives. However, we should remember that those asking challenging questions are often simply constituents and voters. Nikki Haley's continued avoidance of addressing the issue reflects a disregard for ordinary Americans seeking honest answers. She deflects questions and uses phrases like, sharing my truth, as a way to avoid providing straightforward responses. It's essential to note that the question about the cause of the Civil War was not particularly difficult. It was a straightforward inquiry, and providing a different answer would have been an act of cowardice. Haley is undoubtedly aware of the true cause of the Civil War, but appears unable to speak the truth. In summary, Nikki Haley's responses reflect a lack of transparency and a disconnection from ordinary citizens who deserve straightforward and honest answers from their leaders.